<laughs> I'm drunk. High five, just messed with me. Well, thank you guys. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Wes Grant. You're watching Sub Urban Nerd. This channel where I give my new reviews on Dragon Ball Super episodes. And uh, we're doing a review of episode 122, which was good, but also disappointment. And it was sort of like what happened before. Um, Vegeta definitely tried. He tried. But I'm hoping maybe in episode 23, maybe he goes Ultra Instinct. Because this episode, it started off with a bunch of stuff. You know, um, you know the Zeno, whatever. They they didn't like the people spaced off. So the the. <clears throat> the the one in charge pretty much closed everything together. So now all the gods are destroyed, the leftover gods of destruction, all the angels, they're all scrunched over in one little spot. So they're all like, you know, kind of uncomfortable. And then that's when you got Goku just straight up walks up to Jiren, calls the dude out, charges up, and then they just start going at it. <clears throat> and they start going at it. And um, I guess Goku's mastered the Super Saiyan Blue now. And he's just blocking... Uh, Jiren's attacks, like, yo, before you was, you was on some level, but now I, I got you, I see this, and, and then while this has happened, Vegeta, he, he's actually seeing these strikes, which he couldn't see before, and he's able to follow them, and, um, and then that's when, uh, Goku comes, uh, like, well, well, Jiren and, Jiren and, uh, what's it called, uh, Goku's, they're fighting, and then Vegeta's like, no, let me take this mother effer, and he goes and bam, like he gets backed hand like nothing. And then like, you know, he, go, he starts going back after uh, Goku, whatever. And then Vegeta's like, no, no, he going back over. And then he goes and uh, gets backed hand. And then he's like off. But then finally Vegeta goes and he calls him out and he starts going straight towards him. And then Jordan does a move that he does on Goku. And Vegeta straight up dodges him and bam, catches him with one good fist straight up in the gut. And after he does that, it's like, yo, is, is, is Vegeta about to go down? Like, is, is he about to put put it down? And then uh, he starts fighting with uh, Jiren. And then, like, Jiren's, like, you know, blocking and stuff like that. And it looks like Jiren's kind of, like, struggling a little, which makes no sense. Because if he's fighting Goku, Goku, and, like, because Vegeta does have some definitely hidden power uh, on his own because... If you watch, if there was an episode that you remember where Bulma got struck, and then he straight up lost it and went after Beerus, and even though Be Beerus has got a destruction level, but somehow he didn't hurt him, but he definitely did push him back when when before he wasn't doing anything. Beerus was getting pushed back when Goku was straight up just lost it, just went after him and went after him completely. Granted, didn't leave a scratch on him, but it didn't push did push him back. So he does have the potential. To just to to read to dig to dig deep down and get him, but except yeah. So this fight, he goes and he starts actually going like putting up a good fight with Joran, but then Joran just straight up, he turns the tide and straight up just whoops him like so bam 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 down. He's done. But Vegeta's got the smile on her face like yo, I'm not done. And but <laughs> go but then Joran he comes in and straight up blasts this dude. And shoots him all the way. And I was thinking, like, is this one he's gonna go Ultra Instinct? Because it was sort of like when Goku got shot. He was, like, almost got... But except I guess it wasn't the same on that level. Because Vegeta had energy. He was just getting pushed out by this beam. Yeah, but Vegeta, last moment, I guess he squished it or something like that. Because there's an explosion right at the edge of the stage. And then that's when Vegeta stands up. Battle damage armor. And he's, like, ready. And I'm like, okay... It's still not to the level that Goku was pushed when he went Ultra Shit Instinct. Like, he, he has to give everything and then lose it. That's when your boy... That's when your boy is like, okay. Jorin. I'm going to give you everything I got. You think you can take it? Basically calls him out. And then that's when he just starts to the final, final attack. And he starts charging sort of like the way he baited Cell into this attack. And yeah, he he put he was pushing up everything. Super Saiyan Blue charging up electricity, just like it just looks so crisp, so crisp that he was doing this move. And then finally, he just released it. And this beam was like on epic proportion because it went and hit Joran full force. Even with, you could see it outside of the ring, flying right past 
God to destruction, everybody. And everybody, like, I don't understand how the God's destruction is a little bit strict because, you know, it's not going to hurt them. But everybody was a little strict, like, damn, that's a lot of power you're releasing. And then Juran, I saw, he was on the ground for a second. And then that's when Vegeta was, like, smiling. But then all of a sudden, uh, Goku's like, wait, watch out, Vegeta. And then that's when you got Juran, like, right there with his hand, his big-ass ball, right in, right in the Vegeta's gut. And then I'm like, yo... Please don't, please don't knock him out. But then instead, he puts him in uh, this this orb of energy, which I believe it was either Jorn's or he, it was from what Vegeta, uh, Vegeta's own attack. Uh, because I watched it all in Japanese, I didn't even get to watch the, uh, the subtitles. And yo, this thing was crazy because it it hurt him so bad. It hurt him so bad that it's like uh, he, he he could see it sounded like he was in pain. And then pretty much. It's done. Vegeta's left in his crater. Goku's standing. Jiren's on the other side. And that's where the episode ends. And this is what I'm saying. That's the same kind of stage that's set for Goku going Ultra Instinct. Goku had to get hit with his own attack. Get knocked out. And then for him to go Ultra Instinct. And please, I've got my fingers crossed because I want to see Vegeta finally get his due. They make him too much of a punk. They get him close to Goku's level, then they shoot Goku to another level. They bring him close to it, and then Goku shoots to another level. He keeps trying to play catch-up. And for once, I want to see him just go above and beyond Kakarot. I want to see this. And though he's not going to have the Kaioken. He doesn't have that. But at least have him Maybe his base is stronger than Goku's base. Just so just it can be a little fair because there's no other way he's taking on Jiren. And I want to see because people are just speculating that, you know, uh, what's called Goku's got Ultra Instinct Defense. And people saying that because it's in blue. And Jiren, he's probably got the offense, which is why it's red. And then I want Vegeta to get the red. So then he could go straight off and just start, like, his attacks. Because Goku's, a, he, he can block everything and dodge everything, but his attacks aren't the strongest. Which you saw with the fight with Khalifa. I'm hoping that Vegeta gets it to his attacks are very hard and they hurt. They hurt uh, Jiren. And then I want to see Vegeta and Goku do the Ultra Instinct and team up together. And that's what I'm probably going to do for the thumbnail for this. And I want to see him bust his ass and the, uh, them bust his ass and just go all up it. And that's pretty much what happens. Um, I didn't get this. Uh, well, yeah, in the next episode, it definitely looks like things get crazy. But um, we'll see how that works out. I heard it was supposed to be two episodes tonight, but we'll see. Uh, if there is a second e second episode, uh, episode 123, I will watch it, and I will review it, and I'll put this all out as well for this. Um, but if not, like I said, wait till next week. But I think it might be this week, maybe tomorrow. But regardless, if the, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed You know me talking about the episode, because it was definitely fun. It was definitely epic. I definitely enjoyed it. Vegeta definitely got his like moments to shine, because he was catching Jiren when nobody else thought he could catch Jiren, hitting him with attacks, and like, yo, just showing that he is the prince of all Saiyans. No one can compare to me. I'm the prince of all Saiyans. Kakarot, you're a piece of shit. Like, that's what I want. I want him to say that. So, remember... I'm Wes Grant. Check. Remember to subscribe, comment down below, like. Uh, I'm Wes Grant. You've been watching Sub Urban Nerd, and you've just been notified. Catch you guys on the next review.